This is not something you see in too many power boats these days. Combination of the old school with the new school with flexible walkable solar panels right there. Personally, this is one of my favorite parts of the boat here, the pilot house. We've got this massive aft cabin back here. What's up guys? I am really excited to bring you this tour today. It's a tour of a 1973 Rampart 48 and it is a truly unique trawler style live aboard cruiser. That's all I'm going to say about it now though. You're just going to have to see the tour to see how awesome this boat is. But first quickly I've always got to remind you guys to hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying these videos. It certainly helps us a lot. Two more quick things. The Learning the Lines Instagram and Facebook pages are absolutely pathetic. If you guys can go on Instagram and Facebook and follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, book, we would certainly appreciate it. So thank you in advance for all of that. And without further ado, let's get to the tour. All right guys, so I just stepped aboard from the dinghy there. And first thing that you notice is there is this swim platform off the back, this teak swim platform, and then this ladder to get up to the deck here with a handrail to help you get up, obviously. Looking forward. And already we've got one of the highlights of the boat here, this big open aft deck here. This is awesome. I can imagine spending a lot of time out here on this aft deck. We've got plenty of room for seating, for cooking out on your barbecue, just hanging out in general. You could also fish off the back here. Lots of room for that as well. I think I'd put a couple rod holders off the back there. Very nice. Looking forward. This is really cool. This is not something you see in too many power boats these days, but this is a trawler style power boat. So it has one and it has a stabilizing sail right there with a little mast to help stabilize the boat when you're at sea. It also serves as a good mounting point for the radar up there. Very nice, really cool. Now going forward, we have the exterior helm position. And this is just a beautiful, beautiful helm position. You've got, you know, full visibility all around the boat. The current under says they rarely ever steer from down below. They pretty much always pilot the boat from out here. You've got your instruments out here as well with covers on them to help protect them. Look at this bronze compass up here. You've got the combination of the old school with the new school with flexible walkable solar panels right there on the coach roof. Very nice. We're going to go ahead and go forward now. Nice wide side decks here. Nice and safe to go forward. Solid handrails all along the side there. We do have an area that opens up for boarding off the side. Handrails on the coach roof as well. Very well thought out. And that leads us to our nice big and open floor deck here. You guys know I love clean decks. There's not too much to trip on up here. And then you've got obviously solid teak decks that are in really good shape. Samson posts off the side there. Looks like a butterfly hatch under a cover there. Another hatch up here. Another Samson post for your anchor road. And then a large horizontal windlass on the very bow of the boat here. Foot controls, and you can see we're, we're moored out here in Chester. Looking aft. Guys, this is just a beautiful, beautiful boat. I mean, everything on the exterior here is just in immaculate condition, especially given the age. I also really love the lines of this boat. I mean, it just looks really good, really nice and classic. Again, here's some more details that really just make this boat. We've got these bronze navigation lights up here. Ventilation 
down the side deck here another opening area in the handrail there to be able to board and deboard very very nice and then you're back at the huge aft deck back here looking back forward I think that's it for the exterior of this boat guys let's go ahead and go down below First, before we get to the interior of this boat, I want to thank Bespoke Post for sponsoring this video. Now, sponsorships like this help keep the content flowing, so I also want to thank you guys as well for understanding. Bespoke Post is a monthly membership club delivering awesome boxes of top shelf goods from under the radar brands. It's free to join and you can skip a month or cancel anytime. 90% of the products in these boxes come from small brands, many of which are located in the US. So you go ahead and take a preference quiz and every month you're introduced to cool and products that include outdoor gear, barware, home and kitchen goods, food, clothing, and more. What I really like about the Spoke Post is that every box has about $70 worth of goods, but you really only get a fraction of that. Once you sign up, you're gonna get a box assigned to you. And at that point, you're gonna be able to decide whether you wanna keep that box, swap it for another one, or skip that one entirely. You only pay for what you want. I started out with the Forge box, containing a Buck and Bear Damascus steel knife with a leather sheath, the Split box containing a Bare Bones field hatchet, and the slash box containing a bare bones Japanese not a tool because I'm gearing up for land ownership in rural Nova Scotia. Unfortunately, I'm not there right now, so this Annapolis Airbnb had to do for the initial tests, but I'm very pleased. To get 20% off your first box, click the link in the description below and enter code LEARNING20 at checkout or go to bespokepost.com slash learning20. All right, guys, thanks for sticking with me. Now let's get back to the boat tour. All right, guys, so stepping down below. Personally, this is one of my favorite parts of the boat here, the pilot house. You guys know I love pilot houses, whether they're on sailboats or power boats. Just a perfect place to pilot the boat in inclement weather. Got all your instruments right here, chart plotter. That is really, really cool, this compass right here. And just to give you guys an idea, got 360 degree views through these very large windows. And they open for ventilation. It's really nice in here right now. So in the pilot house, you also have a little settee here. But aside from that, it's pretty open, nice and spacious, little table. Let's go ahead and continue forward. And now we are in the forward section of the boat. Immediately to my port, we've got half of a head here. This is what looks like the sink section of the head, as well as potentially a shower. Got storage up here and down below as well. And then turn into starboard, we've got the actual head area of the head. So kind of a split head. I like the design. Now the owner was saying most of everything down here is original to the boat. And as you can see, it's been kept in really good shape. Such cool old school aspects all throughout this boat. We've actually got two berths here in this forward cabin. They look like large singles or small doubles. Storage down below the berths. A little step to get up. Tons of places to put stuff. This is a great, great live aboard cruiser. So we've got another cubby back there. I just assumed it was only a bulkhead, but you've got storage there too. So this is a bulkhead here, so nothing in that. And then continuing forward, we've got a V-berth. You guys can see the, the construction of the boat down here. It's a wood boat, but it's in really good shape. More details on the construction will come later in the video. And then we've got storage down below. The berth in here as well. That's the chain locker forward, I believe. And then a hanging locker in here. 
And then here's the forward hatch right here. You can get out from that hatch using this step, it looks like. Nice, comfy forward cabin with sleeping for, you know, probably four, I would say. We've got these bronze handholds going aft. One thing I forgot to mention, in the pilot house, we do have storage in the sides here as well. Engine's gonna be down below. We're gonna take a look at that in a little bit. We're gonna continue aft first. So to get to the aft cabin and the galley, gotta go through the pilot house right here. And you're in the main salon area of this boat. Nice U-shaped settee with a folding table in the middle. Imagine storage under the settee. And then turning to port here, we've got a good size U-shaped galley here. You can kind of nestle yourself in there while you're at sea. You can fashion a strap there if you'd like, but for the most part, this looks pretty safe. Gas range, oven. I actually almost missed this because the face of this fridge matches the cabinets. It's really nice. Lots of, lots of cold storage. Continuing aft. Looks like we've got another split head here. But this one has a big, big shower area. Storage right there. Really nice. So we've got a shower curtain right there. Keep all the water in that shower pan. And then looking to starboard here, we've got the head. The head in the sink in this section here. It's a little bit different than that split head up there, but pretty good design. Definitely bigger. And continuing aft, we've got this massive aft cabin back here with storage everywhere. Hanging lockers on both sides. We've got storage on the port here. Nice queen size berth. And then another settee right here on the starboard side and a hanging locker. Really, really nice, guys. This is an awesome boat. All right, guys, so I've got the floor opened up for you. It does open up a little bit more as well, but you guys can see the two diesels down there. We've got good access to everything you need. All right, guys, time for the full continuous below decks walkthrough from bow to stern.
so that was truly a unique and awesome boat and I think that a lot of you guys would agree. Y'all know I'm more of a sailor at heart but this boat certainly does it for me as well being that it is, you know, that wooden construction that's in really good shape. It's got all of those shippy little details that I love so much. It's got a ton of accommodation and honestly for a power boat, it's very efficient and affordable to run, relatively speaking. The engines really sip fuel at 2.5 gallons an hour and that really extends her range out pretty far. Also, the sailor in me really likes the fact that there is a stabilization sail on this trawler as well so that you can, you know, kind of motor sail downwind and get a little bit better fuel economy, but that sail is mainly there for stabilization at sea. When it's up and you're motoring in waves, it's gonna give you a nicer motion. I also like the fact that it's there for redundancy and you know this boat has two diesel engines but if you were stranded I mean completely stranded neither the diesel start or you're out of fuel you still have a tiny sail you're gonna go really slow if you use just that obviously and probably not in the direction that you want to go but I still think something is better than nothing and I like that this boat has a small sail. Anyway guys, you saw her, she's in good condition given her age and the fact that, you know, she's a wood boat. I think she's a good cruiser for a couple or a small family. She's certainly big enough for that and you guys know how much I love pilot houses. She's got a really awesome pilot house. Anyway guys, as with all of our videos, the broker contact information as well as the current asking price is gonna be in the description below. In case you wanna potentially purchase this vessel or just want a little bit more information. That's gonna be it for this video. If you enjoyed it, remember to like, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell if you wanna know each and every time we drop a video. Also, follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook. Until next time, see you guys. I've got it right.